But Saurav Ganguly requested the selectors and that's the reason he's playing here in Nagpur. It's a good decision. Just some match practice. Good run. This could be a close and there's a good chance. He might just have a run out. Third umpire has been called upon. Francis Gomes making his first decision in international cricket here. That looked close. Not sure both teams know exactly which way it's going. It'll be close. Uh, my guess, he just got in. Uh, however, we've been proved wrong before. Let's have a look. This is going to tell the story. Oh, I think... Oh, no, no. Back a bit. <laughs> I think he's gone. I think he's gone. The bail's off. That's a big wicket for the Indians. Huge wicket this is. Thurston's out. Run out. It's his own fault. He called for the run himself. And unfortunately for South Africa, their accumulator of runs... The man who's so important has been given out, run out, just out of his ground. And so, South Africa have lost Kirsten for one. It's nine for one. Neil McKenzie, big moment for him. This is uh, his fifth match. He hasn't uh, done much yet, but he's been given the opportunity today. In at number three. In the air four. That's very well played. Whipped away on the onside. Oh, Gibbs... Uh, He's not going to take any prisoners today. Into the gap. Well, um, I'm not too sure that that was very clever fielding. And that was uh, Shiran, the new player out there. He looked the ball as played. A very good cricketer in his own right. Oh, and uppishly played, but uh, oh, right off the middle. This is a lightning fast outfield, and that was struck beautifully. Just wide of gully, mind you. Ended up going for four. In the air and into the gap. Forced away on the offside. Four runs. Shake of the head there from Jabagal Srinath. Gibbs is on fire. 33 for one. Just the five runs. Oh, he's got that one away too. The, the, the fine leg is square. They don't quite know what to do to Gibbs today. He's... Uh, over the top, what a shot, what a shot. One bounce for four, that's on the offside. One on the off, one on the on, another one on the off. That's six boundaries to Herschel Gibbs. Tall man, very bright. Oh, oh we're bold, we're bold. Caught behind, yes, caught behind. I thought there was a noise there. First of all, everyone I think thought he was bold. I think that was a big inside edge. That's beautifully bowled. Anil Kumble strikes as soon as he comes on. And, well, that's brought a smile to the faces of this huge crowd in Nagpur. Well, I think it took a while for Sabah Karim to have complete control of the ball. Got stuck in between his legs and took a while to get it back into his wicket-keeping gloves to hold the ball aloft as a catch. But he did it. Looking... Derek Crooks, the new batsman. And a quick single and a shot at the stumps. That's dropped by the keeper. Dropped by the keeper. It needed a direct hit in any event. And I think uh, Saba Karim probably realised that he was trying to get the bails off as soon as he could, but only a direct hit would have uh, resulted in this being even close. In the air and down to the square leg boundary again. That one's a bit short. It's a bit short, and you just cannot do that to Gibbs. Doesn't matter who you are or what you bowl. In the air, down a square leg for four. Oh, what a good shot that was. Crooks has got off to a good start as well. Oh, shots are plenty at the moment. I'll tell you more about them. Thanks, Tony. And hello to all our viewers as the uh, shots keep coming. Derek Crooks has decided to join the party. It was Herschel Gibbs who really got uh, South Africa going. Very good batting wicket. Oh, that's beautifully hit straight. Very hard to put fielders there. It's 57. For... Could so easily have had two. There's boundary number 13. Very nearly a six. <laughs> well, it's stand and deliver time. There's assist. As Kumble has got rid of McKenzie, should have had Gibbs. Reasonably simple court and bold. Oh, this time he's got his second wicket. 
absolutely shattering the stumps. Premeditated from Derek Crooks. He'd gone there before. He didn't pick the quicker one. And Anil Kumble has got it through before he's got his bat down. Just shows you what happens. You just see here, he's premeditated the shot and he's been done for a little bit of pace. It's a slight inside edge. Dragged it back and that's a good sight for any bowler. South Africa lose their third. Hansi Cronier has a liking for batting against Australia. And his three highest scores against that country. Oh. The moment it's been a bit frenetic uh, from the South African batsman. No fine leg. No ball and a boundary. Srinath really has struggled since he came back from that little rest. Not sure you want to do that. Oh, that's a brilliant shot. That's one he specialises in off the back foot and just bangs it over cover, cover point area. Very hard to set a field to that too. That'll be six. Law of averages for uh, Hansi Cronier. He realised that he's got a couple of short deliveries. Srinath had been called. No ball. So the chance... Oh, there she goes. It's high and it's going over the top of square leg into the crowd. Oh, I hope that didn't bounce on anyone's head because uh, that was a big hit. Came down a long way. Boy, Hansi Cronier. Continuing where Gibbs... And that's another four. He smashed that one down the ground into the fence for four as well. Twelve runs off the over. Well, oh, they really are going well. 109 for three. In the air and over the left side field again and down to the boundary for four. Kumble's hands go up onto his hips. He's not enjoying this. 121 for three. Fielders will have to stay in the circle. Chopra straight down the ground for four. South Africa are blasting India to every corner of this ground. And what's more, that's brought up uh, the 50 for Gibbs. Well, hasn't he played well today? Yes, yeah, very similar to Ganguly's innings in the last game. Some spanking shots from Marshall Gibbs. He realizes that this is the 14th over, in fact, the 15th over. He's going to go after Chopra. So five runs of the first two balls. And now it's Cronier's turn. Oh, great catch! Great catch, shot off. Beautifully taken at slip. In fact, it's Dravid. Dravid's taken a catch. That went whistling in the direction of slip. It was almost just a total reaction. Hands in the right place. And, uh, well, Dravid has taken a superb catch. Yes, and what's it done? For a moment, you thought you needed a bullock cut to drag Hansi Kronia off the field. He just can't believe this. Dravid's taken a blinder. That ball was travelling at the rate of knots. And Hansi Kronia, his innings has come to an abrupt end here. 38 of 31 balls, 126 for four. So Mark Batcher, the new batsman. Chopra continuing to... Well, that's well played and I don't think any fieldsman is going to catch this and uh, that won't be lost to Sachin Tendulkar who's just uh, chasing that one down to the boundary when I say chasing he's jogging after it I think he'll realise when he gets out there later on today that all he's got to do is beat the field in the air oh, oh no 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 he's dropped it well Chopra down on his knees saying bad luck well it might have been bad luck he should have caught it he had about three attempts at it. Sachin Tendorka there, trying to take that one. It bobbled around. Dropped by Kumbli on 31 off the bowling of Tendorka. Oh, down the wing and he goes. That's in the air. And what's more, it's into the gap. It's bouncing away. And Jadeja doesn't quite get there. Gets a hand on it, I think, almost just. But uh, it was too Jadeja had it covered. Straight down the ground. That's side head. That's going all the way into the side screen. Over the side screen. Wonderful straight hit. Boy, is he having a day. You don't get many better sixes than that one. We saw one or two by Ganguly in the last match, but... Uh, the side screen. He's on 67 of just 43 balls. Cheeky, cheeky. Very cheeky. Four 
as well. Well, what do you do? I think uh, it was basically the look on the face. Chance here. Oh, oh and he's got a direct hit. Gibbs could be in trouble. Sri Ram, uh, who's been bowling at the other end, working on his accuracy. And he's produced a brilliant direct hit. Well, that was a fantastic piece of work by Sri Ram. Picked up the ball and threw it in one rhythm. This is going to be very, very close. Well, it's not close, he's gone. So that's the fifth wicket gone for South Africa. Two are running between the wickets. Played a fantastic knock. Gibbs. He'll be very disappointed going out this way. What a magnificent start for Benkenstein. Dale Benkenstein spanking the first one straight through the covers. Should get two here. It's played a lot later, a lot squarer. The 200 coming up for the South Africans. You see their voucher 26. He came in before Benkenstein, so they've been keeping Benkenstein on strike. And I think that's a very good move from the Indian point of view. He can't score off the spinners. He's having a little bit of a struggle, so that's an excellent move from Ganguly. Oh, yes! He's bowled him here. That was quicker through the air. A flatter trajectory. And that surprised Benkenstein. He was looking to give himself room. Tenduka was awake to the situation on hand. Yes, much quicker. And also, he's a short man, Tenduka, so there's not going to be a lot of bounce. He just hustled this one through. He's left a gap at point for Benkenstein, a nice inviting gap there. Just a little bit of turn, and he's late on the ball. Good bowling from Sachin Tenduka. Just under 2,000 runs in the game. Superb average, tremendous strike rate. One's just got a feeling that he's been underused as a batsman in the series. 205 for six. Oh. Edged. Should go away for four. Very quick outfield. That was not where he intended it to go, but uh, worked out the angles, Mark Boucher, and, and the value. I suppose the... Full toss into the gap. That'll go to the boundary for four. Bang into the... Uh... Advertising boards there, right off the meat of the bat. Full toss, straight down the ground again, and that's 4-2. Another four off Javagal Srinath. <laughs> he looks over to Ganguly. I've got to tell you, Javagal, Ganguly can't help you. The bowl rank full tosses to this man, and uh, you've just got to accept that you can only have so many. That's his half century. Well played, Mark Boucher. There'll be plenty of uh, Selbornians down in the Eastern Cape who'll be uh, out of their catches and sharing this young man. He's a very, very good cricketer. Played a superb innings again today. Undefeated on 50, 72 balls, and uh, above all, he's got a very good head on his shoulders. Got a promotion in the batting order today, Mark Boucher. He's responded well. Short over the top of mid-wicket, racing away to the boundary, another four to Klusner. you cannot bowl short. Good over until that last ball. 2.57 for six, and uh, there it is, it's in the air, it's going down, it's going to be out court, is it? No, it's six, yeah, well, we said he's getting restless, he's decided to start cutting loose. Lance Klusner has got underneath that one, and it's gone a long way. It also went uh, a long way up, too. That's another six. That's a lovely hit from Boucher. Very quick on his feet. Could attempt, but can't get it. Boundary for Klusner. Desperate dive there from Robin Singh. That's massive. That's more like the Klusner. We all know. 
But what a hit that was. That smash down the ground. One bounce. And over the boundary line. That was hit flat by Lance Klosner. 50 or 48 balls. Well, the direction was right. It was headed straight towards us. He just didn't get the elevation. But uh, difficult for Prasad. He's a man who likes... He's got that one away. Full toss on middle and leg. And Boucher puts that one away to the boundary. Something there that'll give the batsman a clue. That smash down the ground. It's hit the side of the side screen on the full. 300 comes up for South African style. Back to the bowler. On the top of his bowling run up. This is another boundary. He's hitting it really hard out there, closed up. There's a big gap between. That's four. He played it late and into the gap. Well, on that occasion, Klusner picked the change of pace. That smash down to long on. And Chopra tries to get to it, but the ball's too quick for him. Now, this is what I mean when he hits straight. Very little time for the fielders to react. Up in the air and down deep midwicket's throat. Comblay makes no mistake. So Boucher's perished in the deep. Once again, Boucher decides to go to uh, the onside. Perhaps because he's a shorter man, trying to get a bit of power into it. South Africa, 319. So the final ball of the innings. Klusner just gets the single. So South Africa after 50 overs, 320 for seven. That's the highest score in this one day series so far. And even though that's a huge score, they really won't feel comfortable because this is a tremendous pitch for batting. Quick outfield, not the biggest of grounds. And the Indians have chased well in the of what they confronted with. They've got to score 320 to win. Mind you, it's a beautiful pitch and it's a lightning fast outfield. It's not a big ground either. Put away on the onside. India off the mark. Sarab Ganguly whips it away for four. This will... Um, Barry Richards has just described the offside field and that one, unfortunately, was a little bit too straight. Not much protection on the onside and South Africa. Yes, there's no way this is good if it's really hurting him. In the air, got him, he's got him, oh, he's got him. He's bowled dreadful deliveries all over the place and, uh, well, he's gone in the arm, he's come up and he's got a lollipop. It's been flicked around the corner, they've brought that fieldsman up and that's the end of Ganguly. Well, he can't believe it. Neither can Williams. <laughs> Neither can I. <laughs> This is just the softest dismissal of all time, an absolute shocker, and he's just helped it on its way <laughs> straight to Steve Elworthy. He's only just been brought up there, so Sean Pollock will be putting his hand up for captaincy. First wicket down. Well played. Whipped it away off his uh, hip. Down to the boundary for four. Tendulkar. Now looks as if he started the mean business. That's the sort of shot uh, that one associates with him. Just a bit short, but he played it beautifully. And he did it. The heart is still willing. It's coming our way. Six it is. Well, I was in a good position to catch that one. It just tipped on me. Not enough power. Well, that's been hammered. 
fruit for the side full of that. It's 48 for one. India. As India go on the charge through Sachin Tendulkar and Rahul Dravid. We've hardly seen any flow in Rahul Dravid's shots in this series. But this is one of... And so is that a single shot. We're seeing Rahul Dravid in full flow, are you? This is even more Sundar, Ian. That's gone. Just bouncing short of the boundary line. It's 68 for one. Oh, and Crooks has dropped it. He can't believe it. He was so keen to get there. It's a lovely shot. Gave himself a bit of room. It's tough going for the bowlers out there today. India 74 for one. Here we go again. Just over mid on. Every time I see him coming down the track, I get ready to move here in the commentary box. That's beautifully hit. It was a screamer. Didn't have much elevation in it, but it had a lot of power. Six. It's 95 for one as this place erupts. No one at mid wicket. Looking good touch, it's a batting pitch. Rahul Dravid just reaffirming that. The 100 up in the 13th over. From a measly single. Don't even talk about them today. No fine leg. Hansi Cronier tried a bit of a round arm delivery there. But that didn't work. That's 50 to Tendulkar. He's such a master of these placements. He knows exactly what the field is. It's all in his computer. He's picked up the line quickly. He saw the ball with just around middle and leg. A bit of deflection. And 50 for Tendulkar and 9,000 runs as well. 9,001. Fine leg up. Looking for two. Such and Tendulkar in this innings passing 9,000 runs in one day internationals. And he's just a couple of hundred, 220 to be exact, behind. Uh, Another former Indian skipper, Muhammad Azuruddin. Well, that's a lovely shot. Magnificent cricket shot. It's a typical cricketing shot. Nothing unorthodox about this one. Just from the coaching book, it was picked. And I'm sure Sachin Tendulkar... That's spicked away on the onside. Again, one bounce over the rope. Tempted Yorker, not quite getting it right. Tindulka getting it just right. Not a lot of bowling for Lance Kluzner. They get it wrong, that's what happens. That's a massive blow. That should be six. It's the fourth of his inning so far. Fifty for Rahul Dravid. Rahul Dravid will be very pleased with the fact that he scored his 50 of 50 balls. 
And that is important for him, the strike rate, which has been very good. Oh. That'll be four. I think it's one of his better shots that Rahul Dravid has. Oh, that's a good shot from Drav. Got back very quickly into position there. He's looking a lot sharper on his feet today. Well, the placement is very good. in the outfield and Tendulkar has made a blunder at 93 getting a top edge and he's not a happy man yeah, this is the danger when he gets into this frame of mind where he's looking for a hundred well ideally I would love to see this man carry on in the same win that he did when he came on to bat blasting all bowlers to all parts of the ground then all of a sudden when he reached his 70s Decided on taking more uh, steady approach, but he has attacking instincts, mind you. So there is that possibility time and again to play a false shot. Exactly what happened on that occasion. And it's been a good innings to watch. Another gem from Sachin Tendulkar. Jadeja has come to the crease, batting at number four for India. India with uh, still a chase on their hands. South Africa will perk up, having taken the wicket of Tendulkar. Boucher, great diving attempt, a run out attempt now, Dravid's in trouble, I think he's gone. So, uh, I think they felt they had a chance at the catch, Boucher just couldn't quite get it, in fact, uh, Dravid's not even hanging about, he's going, and uh, that's a sharp, a careful pull shot, and then Dravid well and truly run out. So, South Africa right uh, back in this game. Dravid is gone. It's 193 for three. New batsman is uh, Sridharan Sriram. Oh, in the air and just wide of uh, mid wicket. And applause for the 200. In the air and down into the gap. That was uh, exactly what they needed. That'll just uh, relieve the pressure a little bit. Swept away into the gap, just behind square. And that's out, caught behind. I'm sure he hit that one. Yes, he's given. Yes, he's given. It just uh, seemed for a second that uh, Sidon was uh, just so disappointed. He looked down and not up at the umpire. The umpire gave him time to go. He didn't. And, uh, well, he had no option then to raise his finger. He yeah, premeditated. He was going across the line, trying to get the momentum going. Just a little bottom edge, and Mark Boucher does the rest. 214 for four. The so Javagal Srinath has been sent out to do a bit of hitting, I suspect. Oh, he's missed it altogether. Boucher's missed it too. A welcome boundary for the Indians. By signal by the Empire. Srinath was looking for the big one. That's what he's sent out there for. So five men in the circle here for Jadeja. He's bowled him here. He's dragged it onto the stumps. And South Africa has picked up a very important safe. wicket. Very good shot, Steve. One just got the feeling that Jadeja was getting a little overcautious. They're trying the pull shot here. And only managing to drag it onto his stumps. Yes, he'd been playing very cautiously, and that's uh, usually what happens. You play cautiously, then you suddenly try and play a shot, and it all goes wrong. 221 for five, India. Thing comes out to the middle. Steve Elworthy has picked up two wickets for South Africa in two overs. And now Srinath trying to accelerate here, going down the track. This won't reach the boundary. It's going to be touch and goal. In fact, it does reach the boundary. Such a quick outfield. I just got the feeling that it might be pulled back. It's rolled over the boundary line. So, 226 for five. 
this should be for Robin Singh has picked this spot he was looking to take the aerial route but he got too close to the pitch of the ball but he still managed to find the gap that's a good shot from Srinath This is going to be closed. The third empire will take another look. Srinath's come back for three. That was firmly struck. Edge past the keeper and into the boundary. And a good start to the over. Slower delivery and Srinath has hammered it. Good placement. And cut off in the deep. That was nicely played by Robin Singh. He's got four men in the ring on the offside, but he still found the gap. Oh, that's a big hit. Mind you, this could be out. Straight up underneath it. Will he catch it? Got him. Yes, he's got him. Two meters from the boundary rope. Didn't quite get that in the middle of the bat. It actually hit quite near the bottom. Stratum caught that one well. Watched it all the way. Moved to within two meters of the line and took the catch well. So that's the six wicket gone for India for 259. Sabah Karim, the new batsman. Robin Singh. With... Oh. Great shot. Beautifully driven through the offside field. That's as good a cover drive as we've seen all day. Okay. Straight down the ground. Lovely shot. And one bounce for four. Beautiful straight drive. I like this, Sabah Karim. Seven runs off the over, that makes a difference. 274 for six. All oh, fine off the edge, that's four as well. Oh, that's enough to drive Hansi In the block all over the top, this is a great shot. Wonderful timing. Absolutely magnificent timing. What can he do to this one? time well there we are he's made up for the drop catch in the last match that was a good catch he hit it back at him very hard again and uh Klusner caught that when he was following through and he caught it above his head as clean as a whistle that's the end of sabah karim and that's the seventh wicket gone for india india 290 for seven chopra coming out to bat and the going's tough ball it's wide and it's four wide four This has been a nightmare over for Hansi. Well, at uh, four there. In the air, gotcha, gotcha, straight to Hansi Cronier, and he caught him. Right, well, this game's still not over. However, the man that was capable of winning it and winning it quite comfortably for the Indians has hit one straight to extra cover. He's gone for 29, India 304 for eight can be a real nuisance value but bats best when he's got balls it's swinging south africa's way full toss he's whipped it away this is going to go for four this is going to go for four can you believe it a full toss beautifully played by kumblai well that changes the story just a little bit 13 or 13. inside edge here we go can this be so I think so. What a beautiful run out, magnificently done. Well, that was uh, that was again sideways on the underarm from Gibbs there, hitting the stump square on. That was fantastic fielding. That was very good cricket from South Africa. Good ball coming in to Nikhil Chopra. Didn't really connect it. Nikhil Kumble wanted to go for a run. He was miles away. Brilliant fielding from Herschel Gibbs. Got it in his hand at the right time. Anil Kumble gone for five, it's a 310 for nine for India. Couldn't go wrong from here, could it? In the block hole. Oh, there's a mix up, another run out. Yes! Oh, no. yeah. He's got home, I think he's got home. Oh, hang on, hang on. Perhaps he hasn't. This is not a very confident looking uh, batsman down this non strikers in. It seems that the field is square on. Reckon they've got him. Pollock's walking away. I think he thinks he's got him. 
There we go. Let's see if this is going to be the end of the match. In goes the throw. He's just about home, and those bales are broken. That's the end of the match. That is the end of the match. This is a fantastic victory for South Africa. Run out, and uh, unfortunately, from an Indian point of view, the lower order have not been able to handle the pressure of these South African fieldsmen. They looked as if they were going to throw it away in the field, but when it matter, mattered most, they came back and finished it off.